the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not defeated it. In the Bible, Stephen, he preached the truth and that's why people stone him. And today, when we preach the truth, same thing, the world hates us. To me, the only important thing about living is Christ, and even death would be for my benefit. Upon this rock, I will build my church. In 1993, there was a, a research group who wanted to conduct a study to see what Christians thought about evangelism. 25 years later, they conducted the same study to see what differences were there in the church. What they found shocked them. They found that a growing number of Christians believed that evangelism had nothing to do with them. In 1993, of the, of the people surveyed, only 10% thought that evangelism was the church's responsibility. Fast forward 25 years, and the same question, is evangelism the responsibility of the church, had it rocketed up. Now 30% of people that go to church believe that they have no personal responsibility to share the gospel with other people. How can the very reason that we exist, the Great Commission going out into all the world, be so unimportant to people? Compare this to what's happening in persecuted places around the world where Christians not only want to share their faith, they share it in the face of incredible opposition. Bible League has the opportunity to go into prisons around the world and, and every time we go into a prison population we always see the Word of God make a difference. And it was in one of these prisons where we met a man who used to be a gang leader. When we shared the gospel with him, it was with a sense of trepidation. We weren't sure of how he was going to react. But when he heard the gospel, he responded to the call of Jesus. He was so excited to become a Christian. He was amazed that God's grace could forgive his sin. Now, becoming a Christian as a gang member is complicated in itself. Gangs don't usually let you go very easily. But here this guy was a leader, a person who was calling the shots. And when he became a Christian, there was a huge target painted on his back. But by the grace of God, he was protected. He began immediately sharing his faith with his fellow prisoners. Regardless of what they had done before, who they had been before, he shared with them the love of Jesus. And within a short time, he had brought seven people into the kingdom. Upon this rock, I will build my church. An early church father once wrote that the blood of martyrs is the seed of the church. And it's true, in history and today, wherever persecution happens, the church grows. But what maintains that growth is the Word of God. When Jesus said to Peter that upon this rock, I'm going to build my church, what he was speaking to was the revelation that Peter had received. Peter had come into contact with the living Word of God and it made such a difference in his life that Peter would become immovable. When people come into contact with the Word of God, it so changes their lives that they can withstand anything. It's been said that the average Christian will only in their lifetime bring two people into the kingdom. That's devastating. In a church that is so well resourced and equipped, only two people will be brought into the kingdom. I want to encourage you as I encourage myself, we have to do more. We've been given a great commission by our master to go out into all the world. And yet many of us struggle to go out into our own neighborhoods. It is our personal responsibility to enable the sharing of the gospel. I'm reminded of the story of Irfan, a Bible League coordinator in, in Indonesia, who was so inspired by the gospel that he took it upon himself to go into prison. And he didn't just go into one and stop there. He went into one, and then another one, and then another one, until finally today he has 20 prison ministries. Imagine the impact that he will have on the lives of people as they receive the Word of God. Imagine the impact that those people will then have in the prisons. 
Imagine the impact on the communities as these people are released, all because of this seed of the Word of God. Upon this rock, I will build my church. You can make a difference in the life of a persecuted believer today.